G'day, good morning, good afternoon, whatever it may be for you. I have an interesting concept that I really want to share. <clears throat> How does the value align with passion? Are those two even relevant to each other? my opinion, yeah, <laughs> a ton, and I want to tell you how, but to begin, when we think of value, if you're in a business mindset, if you've ever had anything, even outside of that, we often think of value as ROI, return on investment, you buy a shirt, you're going to wear that shirt a ton, it's going to provide you with the chance to say, damn, I accept myself in this shirt and others are going to accept me too, that's a bad example because I hate trying to promote other people or other people's opinion on you and that that's actually relevant because it doesn't matter that they're, they're gonna do whatever they want to do you're gonna do whatever you want to do doesn't matter how anyone perceives you just let them do it accept yourself that's the main thing so <laughs> passion and value I really believe that passion presents the most value and the reason being that when you're passionate about something it is because you really love whatever it is that that activity presents to you and you want to share that with, with others. It is the value that you can present to others that actually offers the greatest amount. And I really think that that concept is incredibly important to acknowledge. Like, that, that video done, I can say, see you later, but there's a lot more to it as well. So, when it really comes down to it, for me, in relevance to what I've really done, I'm a photographic artist, as many of you know, and I've gone out there and really witnessed some bloody beautiful scenes. I really want to be able to encapsulate all of these incredible environments into my images so that I can present that to others so that that passion that I have will allow me to provide value within others' perspective. And that's the bottom line. That's it. I really believe that when it comes down to it, if you are passionate about something, no matter what it may be, you have the opportunity to provide value to others, simply acknowledging what it actually offers you. If you love mountain biking, you know, potentially you're going to go out there and you're going to tell all your mates, I love mountain biking, mountain biking is great, like whatever it may be, you love surfing, there's some surfers running up the hill right now, you love surfing, you're going to go out there and say, John. I've just gone out there, caught these incredible waves. I reckon you'd love it. We should go out someday. I'm not saying that you have to push it on anyone. It's not like, you know, a religious cult. It's about actually being able to really enjoy something and hope, hoping to present others with that opportunity, engaging them with the enthusiasm and the positivity that it offers you and presenting that to others. I really believe that that is incredibly powerful and so damn valuable. The value is simply within the enjoyment and what it actually offers to you. And then hoping, hoping to connect others with it too, so that they're able to really make the most of those benefits. I think that that concept is very, very powerful. Because value so often, it's, it's something that we may perceive to be a monetary form. It may be something that is going to present you with a chance to make money or, you know, spend money. It, it's not about that. Value is so much more than money. It really is. It's like success. Success isn't driven by money. It's driven by happiness. How fulfilled you truly are within yourself. Whether you've got these building blocks foundationalized within yourself so that your perspective is fueled by positivity. I really believe that if you are passionate about something, allow yourself to have the opportunity to present and promote that to others so that they can gain the advantages of what it's provided to you within their own life. And that is, that is the importance of what it is that I'm really looking to provide in the larger scale. Like, as a photographer, I, I really do love being able to promote my passion. I love being able to engage others with what it is that I capture and understanding what it is that I love, what it's provided to me personally, the journey that it's taken me on. We're all on our own journey. 
but if you're able to offer somebody else the chance to take theirs in a direction that will I, I offer them positivity in the future, that is powerful. That is extremely powerful. And it will allow you to feel fulfilled as well because you know that you're really presenting something that's greater than just you and yourself. And I think that having that selflessness within the way that you actually perceive everything around you and providing that, it's really, really powerful and it will have an impact on the way that you perceive yourself, accept yourself and accept everything around you as well. It's very much about perception and perspective. But acknowledging that, embracing it, allowing it to be something that does drive you, it can offer a ton for the future. I really do believe that. That's just, that's a bit of a short one. I just, I came up with that concept and I really wanted to be able to express it. So, if this has presented you with some value, just acknowledge it. But really, as a, as a photographer, as many photographers out there are, we're in a position where we love what it is that we do. We are extremely passionate about something. There's often something that has began as a therapy, especially landscape photographers, but every kind of photographer often begins their journey as a personal therapy to begin offering themselves the chance to perceive things in a new way, in a new light. And it, it can start at any age, like, you know, whether you're 11 or 52, persist through the difficulties it's not going to be easy some people see photography to be easy you either have it or you don't trust me I didn't have it I've always had a little bit of a creative mindset but I didn't know how to take photos I didn't know anything there's no barrier to entry the barrier to entry is just wanting to give yourself the opportunity that's all it is and you just you have to be persistent, you have to be resilient no matter what it may be, no matter what your p passion really is. There's going to be a level where you will have to train yourself potentially, say rock climbing, you know, it's going to be difficult to begin. But you build yourself up to it and that journey, that's exhilarating, it's exciting, it's enjoyable. You never know where it's going to lead you to, but it's extremely fulfilling going throughout that process and building yourself up and allowing yourself to understand that knowing that it's not always going to be easy but the most challenging things sometimes are the most rewarding that's where you'll able to be able to put yourself in the position to actually take it on board and really be resilient and persistent throughout the difficulties because that builds up so many qualities and characteristics within yourself that you may be able to implement within your life down the track that you never knew would provide you with so much but the challenges and the difficulties within everything are incredibly valuable they really are I strongly believe that when it comes down to it, if you do potentially perceive yourself to make mistakes, you think that you've failed, whatever it may be, they're simply the foundations of your future success. And success in your own right, not success in a monetary form. Success within personal achievement and happiness. It's simply about being able to go through the tough times and really allowing yourself to build up something within you that you truly do enjoy so that you can have that release as well. And that's what I think passion really is. It's something that will always offer you enjoyment. I know there's gonna be times where it may be difficult to enjoy it, but you've really gotta remember what actually started you to really be able to actually make the most of that when you began, what it was that you really did love remind yourself of it so that you can find that fulfillment within the journey when it may be difficult. I really do strongly believe that those are some concepts that you really should be able to consider, take note of and hopefully be able to you know recognize and implement because they really are very valuable. Passion is a very strong thing and a lot of people say oh I don't know what I'm passionate about. Of course you don't. If you don't go out of your comfort zone you're never gonna know. You've got to try different things. And in regards to what I said before, if you may fail or you make mistakes and you think this isn't for me, you can either persist with it and see whether you do get better because you're never going to be the greatest at the start. You may not even be competent to begin. But what you can do is say, all right, 
this isn't for me, I didn't really enjoy it, what am I going to try next? And it's always trying something new, trying something next. Going out there and thinking what else is there out there for me. Because, you know, it may take a while to really find what you truly enjoy, but it's always going to be worthwhile. You're never doomed. You're never in a place where you don't enjoy anything. Everyone loves something. It just takes a little while sometimes to find it and build yourself up to go outside of that comfort zone and see what it actually is and where it lies. Your comfort zone may be here, what you love could be here. You've just got to expand it and give it a go. You may try five different things before you actually get to here, which is where it lies, but it will be valuable and it will be worth your time. So give it a go. I hope this has provided you with a little bit of an insight into what I've really gone through, but hopefully it's presented you with value within the aspect of understanding where passion lies and what it actually means to be passionate about something in my personal opinion. So that'll do me, but I really do appreciate your time and I will most definitely catch you on the flip side. Farewell. Oh, my legs. Oh, I'm old.